Good morning. How are you today? Did you have a good sleep? And good morning to you. I thought I would vlog this weekend. Today's Friday morning. I'm in a new space. David and I moved into a new house. So we're very excited. Everything is a little messy. And there's so many boxes to unpack and things to set up. This is Lennox's pen until everything is safe for him. We don't even have a kitchen table yet. This is the patio table. But we're happy to be here. A lot of work. But it's gonna be fun to set everything up. Today I'd like to set up some of my art studio. I could show you a little later. But first I have a little bit of editing and coffee. done editing the video it's a puppy update actually because a few people asked for news about Lennox which is amazing and I was really glad to make that video so we did a recap of the last four months with him because he's six months old now I'll put a card up here if you want to go watch it because by the time this vlog is up that video will be published he wants cuddles all the time and I love it. So I edited a bunch. It's about 2 o'clock right now, 2 p.m. And I think I'm gonna have a little tea break. And then I'll start working on my studio, setting things up. Do you prefer tea or coffee? I prefer tea. I like both. Sometimes I crave one or the other, but overall, I prefer tea. There's nothing more comforting to me than a cup of tea. Or maybe David's hug or Lennox's kisses. But this is a close third. Alright, so I'm in my studio, my new art studio. It's a smaller space than the other space I had. So I had to split up my workspaces in two. The other space is more where I'll be doing computer stuff like editing and uh, I'm gonna have a little setup with my guitar as well. So it's more of a, a cleaner space and this is gonna be like the messy art space where I could drip things everywhere and get down to business, which I kind of like. This is the state of it right now. Everything is kind of a big old mess. I have my bookshelf already set up, which feels pretty good with my cameras and my books. In here, there are two walk-in closets, which is very good because I can store a whole bunch of stuff. 
So there's two of those. So there's a lot of storage spaces. I'm gonna try to set up as much as I can so that I can start working again. Looking forward to painting more. I've been doing a lot of oil pastel lately in the last few weeks. I plan on taking acrylic paints again. So it'll be a mix of studio vlogs, painting and oil pastels. I want to do a lot more of vlogging, art studio vlogs, just because I like seeing other people's vlog in general and their process. And I think it might be interesting for you to see my process. I don't know, I like it. I like vlogs, I really like vlogs. And he's so curious, he likes to explore everything. So I've cleared a space to draw on. This is a pretty sturdy table. I usually film on this table. I have a little inspiring corner here. This wall will be my painting wall. That's why I put this thing down so that when there's drips and splatters, they won't matter. So I want to drill some screws on this wall so that I could put large canvases. I have a bunch of tables here and a couple carts. And as I was saying, in here I have all my art books and my collection of cameras. I'll keep some lighting on this wall here. And I guess if I need to paint multiple canvases at once, I could just buy a couple more of these, put them there, and I have an entire wall. So it's pretty good. Those two closets, those two walk-ins are a lifesaver because you can store so much stuff in there. On one side I keep the stuff that I've already finished and extra things and on the other side I keep my regular materials, the materials that I use. So it's pretty exciting, there's a lot to do still but I did a good chunk. David got back from work, he had to go in the office today. We had supper. I made a chicken korma. My first chicken korma and it was a delicious. Really delicious. And then after supper, I had a huge chocolate craving. People that know me know that I have a chocolate addiction. I try to stop and I can't. I can't. How can I stop? Anyway, so we want we went on a mission to get chocolate. Let me show you what I got. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. So we got a four pack of Mirage. Mm. I know it sounds boring, but I don't know. I like them. And a four pack of Crunchies. David likes those. Then we got more fancy ones. Lint wafer. Really, really good. And mint caramel and sea salt. I'm trying this one, pink salt, dark chocolate, and the best of the best, bridge mixture. Who else loves bridge mixture? My grandma used to buy them when I was younger, and I always, always love them. I think they're my favorite chocolates. The jujube, the, the green and red jujube ones, and the little cap, the dark caps, the mint caps, and the the orange ones, mmm, so good. Mmm, it's a red one. Mmm. So, I think I'm gonna go in bed with a few chocolate bars and watch some Netflix and go to bed, sleep. He doesn't need much encouraging to come and have cuddles. He want cuddles back? Yeah, it's cuddle time. Look at it there. Oh, I love you so much. You're my favorite. Yeah, you're my favorite of all time. Oh, you know. The 
announced. It's a work of art. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs>